often hits people like a bad wake-up call. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to this edition of Simon Says. So we're here! Where? Here, the first month of the year. Ah, oh, yeah, I know. December was like a nice little dream, and then January was like someone waking you up with bad morning breath. <sighs> And the thing is, January lasts long. Oh, it lasts long? It's not a minute, man. It just keeps on pounding and pounding and pounding at all the wrong places. Hashtag wrong hole. But January is often looked at like a butthole. Ew! And yet we all know that we need a butthole. Because that butthole, January, reminds us that no matter what we eat or drink, there's always a toilet seat somewhere waiting for us at the end of it all. So instead of looking at the butthole, January, we should look at the good side of a butthole. Pause. I just said let's look at the good side of a butthole and buttholes don't have sides it's a circle ah. but we all know the importance of a butthole every single time that we're constipated so here's some good things that January brings to us every single year first ladies you know that guy that you call your boyfriend aka that guy that you ask where are you why aren't you picking my calls you are cheating on me aren't you you are you are who is this mom that you call more than me guy in January, those questions are not necessary because your guy, he does not have enough money to buy some random boobs a drink. Boobs. And yet, he still has to pay for you to get a new set of hair and then you come out of the salon looking like This bitch had the nerve, the audacity to touch my motherfucking hair. Do not touch my hair. No. No, 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 no. All his two cents that he gets on this month of January will come directly to you. Oh, baby, thank you for this PK. Uh, uh. Now, in December, people spend so much money on alcohol and like there's happiness at the end of every bottle. But I'm happy. <laughs> Here comes your girlfriend. Uh. And that often leads to a January where people are so broke to your students are like, Simon, pay attention. Teacher, I can't. It's January, it's not in the budget. <laughs> but January is the best month to avoid anybody who you actually owe money to because you only gotta use one excuse every single time. Bro, remember, you got my money. Ah, it's January. Well, let's the best January where Bro, where's my money? It's in February and remember it's January <laughs> Now when January comes that means school opens <laughs> The kids are going back to school so that means that there'll be less sights of people who look like they're stuck in the middle of evolution Hashtag mid evolution crisis Now with kids back in school not only are the parents super excited because they don't have to ask Where are you? I was with Sister Gladys, who was showing me how to protect myself from demons. And I was sure guys can celebrate, because they will not be confused when they go out for a kid who's stuck in puberty. Where well, I did. And that's wrap up on this edition of Simon Says. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, January is detoxing month. So we have to take responsibility for everything that we put in, and then bear their pain as it comes out of our openings. Back home. Simon Says, out! Thanks for watching that episode of Simon Says. To subscribe, just go over here. To watch more videos, just go over here. So Simon Says, subscribe, watch more videos.